ready if you are. I am ready, yes. Awesome. Welcome to the Road to Go West, Canada's event for event professionals. I'm your host, Alex Plaxon, and today I'm talking with site selection specialist Leanne Calderwood, who is going to be at Go West 2020 for the third time this year, which is crazy. Mm-hmm. And I'm very excited because today we're talking about networking tips and tricks and things that you can do to better network for the events. Thanks for having me, Alex. Glad to be here. The first question I kind of had is, you know, having attended last year um, by myself, I'm the only person in my company going. Uh, For those who were going solo, what are some tips, networking opportunities that they should take advantage of? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of us who attend solo, and um, I think it's a a misnomer that all of us in the meetings industry are extroverts and can meet people easily. But for us introverts, Alex, and for some other people out there, um, these shows can be quite daunting. So a few things that people can do to kind of gear up for the show is to engage with the audience via social media before even showing up in January. So taking a look at the Twitter and LinkedIn hashtag of hashtag go west 2020, uh, looking at the Twitter feed and seeing who's engaging there and starting to almost meet virtually some of those people before you meet them in a large room. It almost creates uh, an icebreaker of sorts and you can make connections um, almost right away when you do that. Now, Go West also has a ton of great smaller networking opportunities that I really encourage introverts to take part in. On Sunday, there's quite a few smaller events leading up to the larger reception on the Sunday night. Um, As well, Monday night and Tuesday night have some smaller, more intimate um, receptions that people can go to so that introverts can connect more quickly and not be overwhelmed by the large groups of people. Yeah, I mean, I know that you and I met online first um, before mm-hmm. we ever met in person. And so it's it's funny because when you meet online and then you meet in person, it's like, give me a hug. I feel like I know you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's so true. It's so true. And I think introverts really need to leverage social media for that very reason is it does create a persona that you can connect with right away when you meet in person. And that saves you having to find those awkward conversation starters. You've already got something to talk about and something to connect on. Well, I think the other side of that also is a lot of the speakers and a lot of um, the attendees are so active on social media that you do have that opportunity to try and network with them before you're ever on site. Exactly. And Go West did a really good job of outlining who all of those speakers are. So again, for introverts who want to connect with some of those speakers or influencers before the event, it's all online at gowestlive.com. So I encourage introverts to go over there and see who's who in the zoo so that when you walk in the room and you see that person, you've already got a conversation starter and it takes people away from those conversation starters of, hey, where did you get in? Now you've got something more meaty and more conversational to talk about. Yeah, for sure. And for those who maybe aren't so social media savvy, um, what are some things that you can do face to face to kind of make it to network on your own terms? It's it's taken me quite a few years to, to, I guess, develop that skill myself. Uh, But the big one is the conversation starters. If you haven't met online, Um, I know we all default when we go to these events by saying, hey, when did you get in? And I'll be honest, after the 10th or 12th time of hearing that, it, it, it just becomes kind of old. So I encourage introverts to find questions that just dig a little bit deeper. Um, so for example, maybe turning that, hey, when did you get in question to, hey, were you able to arrive early and enjoy the destination? Or did you see anything in your travels today that you really thought was cool? Or what are you looking forward to this week the most at Go West? Or what speaker are you hoping to meet when you're here? And the biggest piece of advice I think I have for introverts is being introverted does not mean we're not confident. So walking into a room and, you know, head held high, shoulders back, being a confident person and being approachable will help break the ice so much easier than walking in and being the wallflower on the wall. We can't avoid these networking receptions. They're at our events. It's what we do for a living. 
But if you approach them as a confident person versus being an introvert or extrovert, you'll find people are being drawn to you. And of course, that helps break the ice as well. It's true, you know, and I think Go West is also unique in the way that um, they do a lot of their programming, too. They have a lot of open space for you to kind of pull up to a corner and just meet with one or two people and not have to be inundated with a million people all at once. Any last tips before we go for, you know, if you're networking and you're going to go west, what, what is something that you can prepare for? Yeah, you know, I think going online and looking at the schedule and maybe the list of attendees once the mobile app is out is probably the best way to identify some people that you want to meet so that you can create networking with intention and create those questions in advance even reach out to them in advance to see if they have time to meet with you before the larger receptions. So now you can actually walk into a reception, almost arm in arm with someone that you already know, and uh, you can play off of each other's strengths when meeting others in the room. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us on the Road to Go West today. Uh, for those of you at home, please join the conversation online using the hashtag Road to Go West. Tell us how you're preparing for Road to Go West. Give your networking tips. And for more information on Go West 2020, please go to gowestlive.com. We will see you back here next week. Mm -hmm.